Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Matt Wilson from FranchiseHelp.com. I'm here with Matthew Corrin from Freshie. We're at 39th and Broadway in New York City, and we're here to ask a couple quick questions about franchising. Um, the first thing that I want to know is, with the, you know, in in your model, what can, what are some things that a franchisee can do to be a little bit more entrepreneurial and bring attention to their store? You know, I think uh, I think this, the traditional restaurant mantra is if you build it, they will come, and I think that's just so old school. So our, our philosophy is, uh, you know, build it and then grill and market the hell out of it to make them come. Uh, and so I think anybody just opens the store, no matter how good a location it is, no matter how much density there is, it's, it, it doesn't work and it's not going to succeed unless they go outside of their four walls and really try to drive traffic, drive trial. Um, so, so we really focus on those growing types of initiatives to drive that, that trial and trial that once they're in the store, then our job is to then execute at a level that makes them want to come back. Okay, so a menu a price what, type, what type of grill stuff are you guys doing with Freshie? You know, we do we do a variety of things. Uh, we, we leverage social media and so we're doing a lot of Twitter, a lot of Facebook type campaigns. We love public relations initiatives. So uh, you know, we, we opened in LA uh, two weeks ago. We had Ryan Seacrest and Ashton Kutcher both tweeting about our brand opening. Nice. Uh, and so you know, those types of things within ten minutes, I think it was ten million people around the world now were introduced to what Freshy was and saw a picture with our logo on it. it was pretty cool. And was that something that the indi individual franchisee in LA set up, or was that you guys at, at corporate? How did that you know, work? It's a combination, and, and with our public relations team as well. Okay. So if somebody's looking to get into a business, whatever restaurant business it is, um, that subscribes to the franchise model, what are some of the things that they can do to make sure that they are they are well qualified to get into the business, so that they're going to get approval and be able to move forward with the venture? Well, um, so so. I think it's it's a couple parts. It's one you have to be operationally sophisticated. Uh, you have to have you have to be financially sophisticated, and then you need to have a work ethic. Those are the three elements I think that create a successful franchise partner. Okay. So what um, you know, and how can you like if you're going into an investor meeting or with with the franchisee, how do they display that to you? It's not like pitching to a, a VC where they have a presentation. How does that work out? Well, so so. There's the financial, which is just you know black and white. You can see a, a net worth statement, mm -hmm. confirm that they're financially savvy to be able to actually build stores. Um, just operationally and, and, and meeting up minds, and you know our strategy for franchise partners is: Do I want to have a beer and pizza with this person on a Friday night? Okay. And that's really the way I think about it because we spend and invest so much time with our partners in every market. I need to want them to be my friends, and I think Freshy. You know, granted, I haven't researched a lot of franchise businesses, but our partners are so atypical and yet so similar. Uh, you know, within our within our system, so they're all you know they're all sophisticated, well educated, hip, cool. Okay. Uh, so know, 400 non stores in development, you could have a lot of beers with a lot of people, huh? Yeah. That that's that's pretty good. So have you met every single person? Oh, I mean, I've not only have I met them, but I meet them five times before we sign a deal. And okay. It's my job as the CEO of the, of the company to make sure we're picking the right people. Because, you know, you choose a bad franchise partner in in Los Angeles, and they're going to compromise the brand for Denver and for DC sure. and for Dubai and Vienna. And so they are relying on me to make sure we're you know, bringing on the best partners for, for the brand. So we're at 39th and Broadway in New York City, there's probably not a more prime retail location than this right here. You know, what, how is the, is the cost different for the franchise, or how does that, how does that work with the, with the real estate? Well, so franchise fees and royalties are pretty consistent uh, and, and not, not unlike any other franchise system out there. Um, the, the thing about New York from a real estate perspective is obviously the rents are much higher. But the expected sales are much higher. Okay. So it, it all has to work in the unit economic model of what Freshy subscribes to, and it's all based on percentage of sales. So even though the actual dollar value of rent is you know significantly higher than another market like Denver or Philadelphia, uh, the top line of the sales potential also is significantly higher. So within line, they actually they actually work from a ratio perspective. Interesting. If you had one thing to end off on for any franchisee out there. Um, that's looking to get into business, regardless of what industry. What would it be? Oh, I mean, you know, step one: freshy.com/franchising. Period. 
Cool, Matt. Thanks for being with us. Thanks. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks.